Alright, hello everybody, welcome to another video, slightly different here, I'm going to be editing a video as part of this video, or this video will be me editing a video. It's not really a tips and tricks thing because my depth of experience, my depth of knowledge is very limited, I can't really pass on that much. It might be interesting for folk to just have a look and see how I edit a video. I was going to do this with a montage, I tried this at least once before with a montage, but I decided just to delete the footage because it was too difficult, so I'm going to try and focus here on a good amount of commentary as well as actually video editing. As I said, I've not successfully done something like this before, therefore this might not come out that well, but we'll see and uh, hopefully you pick something up. So we're not going to be doing a montage, we're going to be editing a UHC highlights. Uh, at time of recording, I'm planning to make this my 300th highlights because it was a pretty decent game and one that I think people would enjoy as my uh, 300th highlights. I know this is not a tips and tricks, but the best tip I can give is it doesn't matter what you use to edit, whether it's Adobe Premiere, whether it's Premiere Pro, whether it's Sony Vegas, Movie Studio, even Windows Movie Maker, doesn't matter what you use, the best way to get better at editing is to know your software, is to know what you can do with it, know its capabilities and just experiment with it, you know, have a play about with a lot of the features and see what you can come up with. I've never done any sort of video editing or video produ uh, production anywhere, like I never did any of that at school or at uni or like any external courses. It's something I'm kind of interested in now, Once I, since I've done YouTube uh, for so long, but I'm mainly self-educated, I mainly just learnt how to edit through playing about with the, the software I have. I used to use Movie Maker and that was good to get me started, um, but uh, a couple years ago I moved on to Sony Movie Studio, which is the lesser version of Sony Vegas, I think it is. Sony Vegas Pro. I can't justify the expense for the main software, so that's why I've gone for the, the lesser software. But it does the job and that's all that matters. The most difficult things for me in video editing is finding a song. I hate looking for music. The thing is though, I don't really want to get other people to do it for me because they might get a song that I don't like or they might get a song that's copyrighted or they might get the wrong sort of genre. Songs really define often how a video goes. You've got to just go out there, you've got to find one that gives the kind of mood, sets the mood of the video, that sets the the speed of the video, the tone of the video, that sort of thing. And so it's, it can be very much a defining factor as to how your video comes out. I'm using a lot of NCS songs at the minute and I've got an NCS song here, one that was released recently, I think within the last month. I like to use recent songs, A because very few people will have used them and B it's just something a bit different. So this one's called Shadows By It's Different featuring Miss Mary and this is the radio edit it looks like. It's slightly shorter than what the, the NCS release it looks like. Well the name of the song is Shadows so it kind of gives a, a not a darker theme, but it's not like all happy and light, it's kind of just... Someone described it well in the comments, I can't I can't think of the word, but you know what I mean, it's not happy, it's not sad though, but it's definitely closer to sad than happy, uh, if, if we're talking about a spectrum or a scale or whatever. Incidentally, for those wondering, the highlights that I'm using is this one, it's an 8-kill Epicube game, it's not UHC run, it's actual UHC. It was a pretty fun game, but I got... well, I didn't get lucky, I, I think I played it smartly and like my tactics in that one point and that's why I ended up winning. Now generally I think I like to have the music, uh, the sound, sorry, muted. Sometimes I keep the sounds on but generally if I'm doing a music highlights I keep the sounds muted. There's a term called over edit. I'm not entirely sure what that actually means but people talk about over edit highlights and I think that means you know loads of editing and that. This isn't really going to be an over edit but it will involve lots of edits if you know what I mean. It's going to be Kind of slower, just to go with the song. The beat's not that fast, but this first section here... Yeah, okay, the f it, we, I think we need the first section. We can delete the first section because the song doesn't start until later. Yeah, until about there. Uh, we can get rid of this first part of the game. What pack am I? Oh, I'm using the Shant pack. Oh, I completely forgot. Yeah, so here's the thing. The reason I played this game <laughs> was because uh, Scorpio had been asking me to use a pack for a long, long time. And I kept forgetting, kept forgetting, and then I just went, right, I'm going to use it, I'm just going to play UC, and I'm going to use the pack. And I did, and it went a lot better than I anticipated. So we've got three minutes, and when does the song end? We should define the limits. So for the start, we want some sort of an intro thing. Um, we want an intro scene, a part of the highlights that we can use as the intro, and then we need, I, I feel like a transition from, you know, that, to that, you know what I mean? So like, the dark screen to the actual game. Now we could obviously, there's plenty of transitions we can use in Movie Studio. I think the best scene we can do is that. So if we cut that there, trim that even. Now usually I think I would use something like this, the zoom the zoom uh, effect. Well we can see how that looks. Zoom that back a bit. 
No, that's still, that's too short. Okay, yeah, so as soon as you hear the first kind of uh, tone, I'm going to be speaking a lot about stuff in songs. I have absolutely no experience with music. I've got no experience with video editing. Therefore, it seems kind of strange how I'm doing something like this, editing a video to music. I'm going to explain a bunch of technical terms about music, and I'm going to be explaining them wrong, okay? So just please accept that. I have no experience in music whatsoever, but you hear the first kind of tone. That, okay? That's the point we want the... Um, the transition to end. So about there. So the next question I want to explore is should I use this transition, this zoom transition for the start? I mean it looks okay. Could try some other ones. Try... That's really cool actually. I've not used that one too much. Yeah we might use that one actually. Right, so we got that. Now, usually for most UC highlights, you've got the you got the beat, and people usually it depends on what the beat is. People will edit to that, you know. So you know, it might be a drum beat or a guitar kind of chord thing, whatever it's called, or a piano, and you would usually uh, you know change the scene on each beat, and that obviously gives a, a nice effect where you're switching between parts of the game, and it kind of shows you the game as part of like a story. And you can cram so much into such a short space of time. And that leaves a lot of time later for the PvP, which obviously people uh, want to see in highlights. Don't watch my highlights if you want a lot of PvP, because I do upload one kill highlights. Okay, so I've just listened to the song, the start of it, and I'm hopefully I might have played that as well. It's the sort of song I'm actually kind of excited to try, but at the same time a bit apprehensive, because... Immediately in my head, half-formed ideas start to uh, appear, but I just don't know how to actually put them into practice. I don't know how to pull them off, mainly because of my limited experience. I mean, I do have a lot of experience with editing videos. At the same time, my depth of experience is very, very, very limited, okay? Often I'll have an idea and I'll be thinking to myself, you know, if I had more experience, if I had a better editing software, if I had, you know, X, Y, Z, if I had a studio, I could pull this off, but as it is, I can't, so... Hopefully it's not going to be one of those things. It's quite mellow or it's quite kind of a, a slow start. So it kind of, it, it makes me feel like we need a black and white start before the kind of the, the tune picks up here. Run free. Also the beat, I'm not sure what beat to go with. I think the piano one, there's a piano uh, chord that's better like that first one. See, the thing is, this game's very different from my other games because I did a wee bit of caving, but then I went to 0-0 zero zero early, and I got a few kills there, and then I went back caving again, so we're going to almost have to split it into two. And it's almost ideal, because there's two drops usually in EDM song. Let's split the highlights. We'll just, uh, I guess, start it there. So, we've got the video split into uh, four, four sections, which is good. So, what we'll do is we'll turn that into black and white. I don't usually do it this way, but I think just for now I will, since it, I think it'll make it easier. Uh, and then we'll make it, we'll slow it down. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go for that speed. That's quite a slow speed. So now it looks like, oh, oh, okay, that's, okay, so <laughs> it's uh, drag the introduction effect out of sync. Yeah, we'll go with that. Got it black and white. We've got the speed down. We need to now sync it with the first part of the song. What I was planning to do is just like cut the clips and have it changing. But I think we can do some sort of a... Like every time the piano sounds, we can have it kind of crossover. We can have a... a what do you call it? A, yeah, crossover effect. Move that in place. And then we need to uh, delete that. Right, so the next clip I think will just be punching a tree because that's what you do at the start of every Minecraft world. Unless it's Hypixel you've seen you got the stone tools kit. So it's nothing too heavy, uh, but it's just a nice gentle uh, change of scene. Yeah, okay, that's better. The longer effect is more preferable, I feel. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a flash effect, but we're not going to use the flash we're actually just going to use a solid colour and we'll uh, fade it in. So if we put that there, as you can, if you listen to the song, uh, let's mute that, listen to the song. No idea what sort of effect, what the name of the effect is called in the song, but the, the kind of the shh part in the song, the tone of it grows and grows and grows and grows, uh, and then it just disappears. We're going to use the white 
to go in sync with that. We're just going to feed it in ever so slowly. If we do something like this. Run free. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly satisfied with that. Um, there's not much more I think I can do to improve it, so we'll move on. The next part, obviously, it's completely faded out. There's nothing, it's just a dark screen for a period of time. Then we've got the lyrics, run free. Run free. So we're going to leave it uh, dark as well for the words, the lyrics. I think we'll just have the, the video come back in at the point of the piano again. So yeah, up until that point there, the drop, we'll have the this portion of caving and the, until the first part of PvP. We need to, I guess, sync to it. I mean, obviously, nowadays you can do whatever you want, you don't have to sync, but I just feel it would look better. Okay, so it's, it's, it's more awkward than I thought originally, purely because the piano seems to change to some, like maybe a drum or something like that, halfway through, like if you listen here. First of all, if you hear the, the instrumental uh, part, it's definitely a piano or a keyboard or something of that ilk. As you can hear, it kind of changes to something else. It's not really going to make it challenging, but you'd rather it was a bit more consistent. But obviously the song has to kind of pick up, it's the next part of the song, they can't just have, you know, one section play over and over and over again. On that basis, you could argue it'd be better just to uh, sync to the background tune, which is consistent. So we could sort of sync to that, but again, it drowns out a lot, especially towards the end when the drums come in, or the whatever it is, the beat, the different beat. <laughs> See, at that point you can barely hear it, so the, I, I think it's best just to go with the, the piano tone and the drum beat or whatever. Basically the loudest beat we can hear, I think that's just best. I actually went into a cave and then left it again, I must have not found anything in it. And then at this point I was deciding whether I was going to go up or not, and then I did go up. And I think for the latter part of this section we'll have my journey to zero zero because that's obviously uh, a key part. I like to tell a story with these, you know. In theory that's what all, all the big... Uh, YouTubers would say with UTC highlights, they try to tell a story with it. I've, with all my UTC highlights, I've always tried to tell a story in some way or another. I guess my journey to zero zero can kind of underline that, can kind of be drawn into that. So, we're going to, I guess, edit the first portion of this caving, which stops about there. So yeah, we've got a lot more to use. We'll only maybe use one or two clips from this first part, and then most of them will come from the other section. Okay, we'll go, we'll use all those, I think, four beats then for this section. Uh, okay, yeah, there's even less. It's just me mining coal. That's it. This first clip is just me mining coal. And then a piece of iron. So we might as well add that in. So we'll do that. I so does that look okay? And dive into the sky. Okay, and then for the next beat, we'll have me going into a cave. Okay, so for this bit, I think I've nailed it. I've got... Maybe not where the tones are, but it looks okay. Hear the wind. Okay, and for the last part, obviously, I got, got the player obtaining string from cobwebs. Okay, so now this next part of the song is very difficult, because as you can hear... Out, it's, it's, it's difficult to hear again over the lyrics uh, where the tones come in of the piano. We're also approaching the part where it changes from the piano... Cry to the, I guess, the drum or the snare or something like that. You know, a different sort of uh, sound, different sort of beat, different sort of tone. So, what I'm going to assume, well, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to assume that these, uh, as you can see, there's a bit of a chunk there in the, whatever this is called, the waves or whatever. Um, I'm going to assume that that, for example, is a piano uh, chord, and then that is as well, right? There. So I'm going to end that clip there. Yes, it is dark. Uh, I could brighten it. I don't usually brighten it. One, because I'm lazy and B, because I just prefer to do it that way. For those that don't know, my UHC highlights were originally inspired by Engel. Um, I'm sure a lot of people's were. I'm not entirely convinced he was the first to do it, but he was the first that I watched. I'm just going to look for a clip to, uh, to do. Um, but he used to not use torches and, or, well, he, he used to not use Fulbright and it was always like, something, it was sometimes dark in his vids. So, you know, I, I know, I know there's a certain standard these days, but I'm just going to go with, uh, just the natural light. So if we do that, does that look okay? Crying out, crying out. Uh, well, you can't really tell, so it, it, it doesn't make a difference. It just looks kind of strange. Up to here, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, the rest of the... Well, up until the drop, I think it should be a bit more straightforward. Uh, maybe until we get here, but even then, I think that'll be easier to deal with that... Or not there, here, uh, where there's just a wall of noise. Um, 
but I think this will be easier to deal with because you can see the markings and that's obviously where the tone or the beat or the chord or whatever uh, comes. Now I was thinking of possibly putting an effect in um, with this chord or this beat sorry. You can hear it's a cymbal, like a cymbal set or something like that. So we might do something there. Okay so I've added the next part of the beat here uh, or the next part of the video. <laughs> It's, it's decent. Um, obviously, syncing of clips, it just makes it look better. Um, but obviously, you have to try and sometimes think outside the box. You need to try and think of something a bit more unique. Because I'm just doing this for fun. I don't want to make it, you know, not fun, if you know what I mean. Like, having to sit there for hours playing about with stuff. I do sit there for hours playing about with stuff sometimes, but only when I feel like it. With that symbol, we might try and do a, a, an interesting effect. Now, I, didn't, I never saw a tutorial for this. Um, it's probably something that's well known. It's probably something that can be done a lot easier. Um, but I came up with this myself uh, a few years ago. Um, I, I tried to explain it to Strobes once. We need to find where the symbol ends. Probably about there, so cut the clip there, or trim it or whatever. And then that's the next part of the beat, so that's where the clip ends. But for this part, what we're going to do is we're going to go into pan crop or pan slash crop or whatever and we're just going to simply uh, move it up and then we'll move it along to the next section we'll move it down move on to the next section move it up you could i could copy and paste it but i'm just showing what sort of effect the cut like it would give um and then we'll do that and then let's see what that does will it look good uh, it's, it's decent. Maybe it's too fast. Sometimes what I like to do is give it a bit of a, a, a blur or something. So we'll do that, sort of a blur. And then maybe take it down a notch. I'm not sure. I think I think it looks okay. The, the, the thing is, we need to be consistent, I feel. We need to keep doing that for every time the symbol plays. We need to keep doing the, that. Alright, so how does that look? Um, we've done a bit more. Uh, try and, I, I like to try and review the footage every so often just to make sure it's how I like it and if there's something I don't like I need to change it. Because often, for example, I'll accidentally include two adjacent clips, if you like, from the video in the beat so it doesn't look like I've synced it at all. I like to identify those mistakes before I've actually rendered it so I guess I'll just watch from here. And dive into the sky Hear the wind crying out its prayer Why are we so ashamed to be alive? Mm. The, effect, the effects are okay, like the symbol effects okay, but you don't really notice it in amongst the, you know, all the clips and that. Okay, so the symbol effect here is actually shorter, it seems to be shorter than uh, the other one. So, I have shortened the clip by two frames, I think. It's only three frames instead of five. And it, I think that looks, makes it look better anyway. It just makes it look far less noticeable. Okay, so I finished the next part of the video. Um... Basically, it wasn't quite a consistent tune. It appeared to be originally quite consistent, or at least the beat appeared to be consistent, but that's the case no longer. This is the last part of the beat leading up to the drop. So this basically is... The reason I've put this part in is to kind of encapsulate the journey to zero zero. So as you can see, I'm caving, and then all of a sudden... Uh, going to the surface, which is only two clips, and then we've got a good uh, three seconds, it looks like, of me uh, running to zero zero, and that's what I'm trying to get at here. I'm trying to say, right, now I stopped caving, and this is me going to zero zero for the fight, if you like. Um, or at least, <laughs> at the time I anticipated it was the fight, the only fight. As it turned out, it was the first of many fights. Uh, yeah, that's what we've got to. So now, we get to the good part. This is the drop. This is the PvP. So as you can see, at the end of the, obviously the journey to zero zero, it's the stage before the drop, uh, whatever that's called, and I've got the same sort of, I, it's not the same sort of transition as I had at the start, uh, but it certainly gives that impression, you know, at the start we had the, the fly-in, and now here uh, we've got the fly out. Axe is kind of an end point or a sub end point of a section, a conclusion if you like. And obviously for the final lyrics, whatever she's saying, uh, that doesn't really have much of an instrumental 
uh, in the background it's more of just it kind of just cuts out and that's why I've just got darkness and then once the drop starts again that'll be when it restarts you know that'll be when I bring back the clips. I know some people in the past have mentioned uh, screen pumps to me or well more specifically Unfightable has and um, this sort of a beat doesn't really warrant screen pumps um, if you like. Listen to it. I, seem to be alive. I don't feel screen pumps would do justice however I think we will be doing it uh, for some points in the drop for example if you listen to this part here that sharp uh, change or that sharp beat certainly warrants it more I would say than the beat we had here so I'll probably include something like that there. So I've got a few ideas for what to do here I just don't want to like ruin it. <laughs> I'm not sure how I could ruin it but I mean there's always a way. I think for the first part I'll try and go through this because I kind of rushed that last bit. I'll try and go through this but the first part I think we should have the initial bow shot. I think I missed the first shot. Right yeah so I, I lagged and like when the shot was taken he then fell off after the lag stopped so it's not really a, a good part to start with, but we're just going to do it anyway, I think. So we're just going to split it there, and then this is where experimenting comes in. Yeah, look at that. You can see my second shot, the, the arrow goes way over the sky base. He had barely any health. We'll do that. Let's see how this looks. Now I'm thinking we might make that a blank screen. Now, this is where screen pumps come in. Uh, now, I've never really figured out how to do them properly, make them look good. I've done them in the past and they've looked okay. Uh, I don't think that's really going to change now, but I think what you do is... Well, for starters, you open the pan crop. I'm sure many people know how to do them. Then you just zoom in. And I think that we've zoomed in too far there, but I'm going to just... We're just going to go with that. And if we go a long one, we'll go for three seconds or three, what's that, three milliseconds maybe? Something like that. The other part, the other part is we've got to zoom out like that. So, um, yeah, so that's, let's see how that looks. I think that looks okay. Obviously it was lagging, so the guy fell off. It was a delayed action, but we've managed to compress it into uh, about, I think, a second of footage. Yeah, about a second of footage. It looks very weird, but there's not much we can do about it. Basically, just to put it into perspective, we've got from here, the start of the drop, all the way to here. So that's about, I don't know, 40 seconds, give or take, um, to include all of this footage. And then after that, we'll go back to the caving for the next section. Okay, so I've got the next part done. I'm not entirely sure how this looks. I mean, it's cool in one way, but it's, you know, not so cool in the other. But there is a reason for it. Basically, as you know, I've got so little time to include basically four battles, uh, one of which didn't finish, so I can't spend a lot of time on individual parts of each battle or each section. So basically what I'm doing here is uh, I'm including the first uh, encounter in as little time as possible. About six seconds, uh, five or six seconds. So this is how it looks. <laughs> There's a lot of those sc uh, screen pumps. I feel that goes well with the situation. Obviously when we get here, the beat becomes a lot quicker and therefore it switches between the scenes a bit faster. So we got the digging scene, the arrow scene where I shoot. I actually had to speed that one up to include the whole, the whole uh, arrow fire in it. Um, and then we got me running away. Then we got the guy saying stop bow. Then we got me replying with stop sword. And then we've got the kill. So the guy that I was originally fighting was killed by somebody else. I'm kind of putting this in with the expectation that people might, like, if they miss what is, is typed, they'll go back and they'll pause the video and, like, look at it. Now, they might not, but at the same time, it's just a case of it's there. People can look at it if they want or they can just let it go by. It's just a bit of dialogue. It's, it's to kind of show the verbal encounters, I guess, within the fight. We need to move on to the next battle, which is actually a lot better. <laughs> There's more than just two arrow hits. So that's where we first see the guy under the earth. So that might be the first kind of part we put in. So this first section here I think will just be the initial encounter. So we'll put that there and let's copy the screen pump. I actually shot him, look. I didn't realise. <laughs> I might have to speed up the, the footage a bit. Then basically I chicken out again. So that's the second time I've chickened out of a fight and I run around for a bit and then I decide right we're just gonna go back in. I'm gonna 
try and get this kill. I've only got one gap at this point. Keep in mind at this point, I don't have that much. I've only got one piece of healing. And this guy, he's got an enchanted chest plate, which I know is not much, but it's better than what I've got. So this part will end at this section here. We need to do a screen pump for that part. So we'll just pull that off pretty quickly. The reason we can't copy and paste onto that one is because it's uh, sped up and if we copy and paste then it'll put it back to normal speed because all the other clips are normal speed or the clip that we copied off of is normal speed. So this is what we've got. So yeah, it's going to seem a bit confusing if you don't see the name tag of the players I was fighting. If, if it go, all goes past in a blur and you don't read the kind of the dialogue in the middle, it's going to seem a bit confusing, but whatever. Um, I'll just roll with it, to be honest. I think it looks pretty cool so far. Yeah, so I, 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 I kind of like it. It's, it's decent enough. So this bit is going to be another uh, dark screen. Then we'll get the bow spam in because every UHC highlights needs a bit of bow spam. See, the funny thing is, usually I'm trying to make up the time of a song because I don't get that many kills, but now I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to fit them all in. Basically, we'll have the bow spam here. On each beat, we'll have a screen pump. And I think that might look quite cool, uh, similar to what we've had before. Here, listen. Does this not sound like a telephone? Do you know, I, I think it might be cool if we like add a, an image of a telephone <laughs> just for just for the fun of it. Yeah, yeah, we should totally do that, just as a red herring, because <laughs> why not, eh? Um, anyway, let's get the, uh, the screen pumps in. I think it looks okay. Alright, so we're going to do this. I got a picture of a telephone here, and uh, this is very random. I don't think I've ever... Well, I, I might have done something like this before. I, in fact, no, I have. I've definitely thrown in red herrings to UHC highlights in the past, but we're going to do that. Cause it, just because it sounds like a telephone, you know, it's just random ideas like that can add things to videos. I don't think we're going to have screen pumps here, but what we are going to have is the continuation of the bow spam part. And we're going to do it not with screen pumps, so wait. We're going to do, um, like the screen, the screen will start a low, wait, no, that's the wrong way. Um, so as you can see over here, we've got um, the preview screen. And we'll basically just make it smaller like that. We'll start like, yeah, about that size. And then we'll go here. I'll put that to maybe that size. Yeah, okay, it looks, it looks weird. We'll just, we'll just make it full size. Um, but yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Something a bit different. Um, so we've got the telephone. And then with each um, beat thing here, tone, chord, note, whatever, uh, we have the screen size growing and that gives a nice effect. So maybe we should have the gap link. Maybe we should ga add the gap because that's my, like, my one gap. Look at my health. <laughs> Look at that. That was. I don't think that was the greatest decision ever because I'm now worse off than the guy. I've progressed a bit more. Uh, after the telephone, we've got the progressive uh, screen thing that, well, the screen gets larger and then after that we've got the next part of the fight. And then obviously at the part where the, the beat happens, the last beat, the tone drops and it goes blank and then we'll go and get into the melee here at this point. The entire melee fight takes up all of that section so what we could do is we could just leave it like that or we could try and put in some screen pumps as well. I might try that and see how it looks. If we don't like it we could undo it. Okay basically what I've done is I have added the or I've split the clip of the entire melee encounter which leads up to my first kill and I've added screen pumps on each beat and that just gives kind of a, a different effect, uh, a nicer effect, uh, I feel. Um, so this is how it looks. And then obviously at the end, the tone drops and uh, the screen goes blank again. And that is the end of the first fight, or well, the, that's after my first kill. So now it's on to the next one. We've still got a bit of space here. I kind of don't want to make it repetitive, like the editing repetitive, by just having screen pumps over and over and over and over again. What we've got now is the first part of the second, or, well, the third fight, technically. Uh, we've got the when I first see the guy, we've got the gapple, the initial blow, and then the F and S by the guy. So it goes something like this. And as you see, it's quite repetitive. It's just screen pumps, which is... Uh, just because I, well, for starters I feel the beat needs it and it just keeps it more interesting. Then we've got a bit of text. What I'm going to do here is something a little bit different. I've never done this before, so I'm going to see how it works. Uh, doesn't need that. 
does need this, however. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to keep our eyes on this section here. And then we're going to move it to, I would say, about here. And we're going to basically copy that. And we're going to paste it in all those. But it's not going to be the same. It's not just going to be... Each screen, sorry, will be moved to random places. So we'll move that one there. So how does that look then? Does that look any better when it, with it more zoomed in? Yeah, I think that looks better. So, uh, you know, it's, it's still going to be hard to notice what's going on, but it, it's just an, a cool effect, really. Okay, now for this next bit, you can hear there's a bit of a, I guess, a dulling of the music, slightly. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to have a cross effect. Not that one. I think we'll just have a normal one, but we're going to try and uh, give it a bit of a, a different look. I'm not sure how I like that. I don't think I like it, to be honest. I don't like it as much. Yeah, we've got to do that. We've got to do that. That's be that. That looks pretty good, I would say. It just completely fades the whole thing out, blurs it out, and then it comes back uh, at when the the beat happens. So for this next bit, as you can hear, there's a line of beats, and I think what we'll do is the opposite of this effect here. Um, yeah, we'll do the opposite of that effect. So I'll have everything zooming out. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Then we go into our third fight, which is over here. I don't actually hit him, but we might as well include the shot or the first shot so at this point we've just got a line of uh, a line of footage we don't actually have any edits to it which uh, isn't super amazing but this is it sorry I, I was struggling to find it there but we found it here it is so the question is do we want that line of footage uh, or that section of footage just to be left unedited or largely unedited or do we want to add something to it now I'm not against leaving it just unedited but it does kind of <laughs> go against what we've gone through for the rest of the video as you can see loads and loads of edits, loads and loads of cuts and that, and then just a line of footage. I feel like the this part of the song of all parts warrants it more than anything else, but at the same time I don't want to just neglect it. I feel it's kind of lazy. What I'm thinking is possibly doing a similar effect to uh, this one. Uh, here. I don't see why not. Let's, let's give it a go, see how it looks. I, it looks all right. I've not I've not seen this done before. Um, at least I don't remember seeing it done before. Okay, so I think I've done it. Oh no, not like that. Like uh, that. Let's get it back in line. So what this is going to do is basically it's going to transfer or it's going to go from having a small screen to full screen in the same uh, clip like this. Does that look good? I'm not sure. It looks all right. I'm. Well, we can, we can live with it. Yeah, right, okay, we're, we're just going to leave it at that. Uh, I don't want to add too much to that. I can't think of anything else that, you know, I really, really, really want to add. And then we're going to move on to the next section. Now, this has already taken about three hours to edit. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And we're only one minute 20 into it. For this next bit, we're just going to have a period of no clips. It's kind of like a an empty period in the song where there's very little uh, instruments playing. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete the rest of that footage. And we're going to go back to the caving because what I do after uh, I get those three kills is I go back caving because at the minute, uh, as you'd see, I'm low in health, but I do end up getting like five gaps. Is that? I wasn't too low to be fair from the fight, um, but I ate one gap, so we had five gaps. So we, we had a decent amount of healing, which was nice, but we didn't have enchants. So in fact, we had an enchanted chest plate. This was at the point where I forgot that the enchanting table was probably in the sky base. I didn't know for sure that it was. But it probably was, I only remembered later. So anyway, I went off to uh, see if I could mine some diamonds. And that's when we go caving again, before we go PvP again. See how at the start we had, it was black and white and it was slow motion. We're going to do that. For the transitional part, we need to have the part where I like go into a cave. Because I need to show that's what I'm doing. Well, I don't need to, but it's just kind of good, you know. I like to, as I say, tell a story, so... That's me going back into the cave. I don't think I found diamonds for quite a while. I know I started branch mining. Is that gold or, <laughs> or iron? Doesn't matter what it is, we'll just have it as part of the video, I guess. Okay, so for the final bit, we just got the crafting of a gapple. And then it fades out into, again, a part of the song where there's no instrumentals. I'm aware that it's maybe not super orthodox that it's all black and white and in slow motion, but I feel it just goes well with the music at that point. Look behind your back Chase the light The next part isn't quite the drop, but I want to leave myself enough space to include the rest of the PvP because there is a... 
a fair amount, not too much. Uh, I don't think there was only one fight that posed me problems. So there's not going to be that much editing in this first bit, just because there's not... Well, I, could, I could change clips again, but we've already done a lot of editing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a few transitions. As you can see, we've got first clip here, in which I get, uh, I think, one bow shot. And then it's on one of the piano uh, notes. Uh, the clip changes to another shot. And then here we're going to have a bit of a fancy transition. Probably not fancy, but a transition nonetheless. Yeah, I like that. Well, I'm not sure about that transition, to be honest. I think we could do better. <laughs> what, what other transitions do we have? Pedro? Yeah, it, see, the terrain looks the same for us to have a, for it to have any sort of definitive outline. You don't really notice it even. Yeah, we'll just do that. No idea what I just did, but it, it'll do. Okay, so I forgot to record a section um, because I was taking a break. Uh, but basically what we've done is we've got this, the next fight. So after I get this kill here, we've got this fight. Got, in, got it in a few parts. We've got different sort of editing because I want to try and freshen things up. It's good to get a wider variety of edits into videos just to keep it a bit fresh. Um, repetitive editing is, is alright, but it's quite predictable. And uh, it might make the video look a bit less uh, unique. Uh, or a bit less uh, watchable, I don't know. Uh, so what we've got here is we've got three short clips of the fight, one of which uh, where I spot the person, then I'm Optifine zoomed on them, and then the next bit is longer, is where I get two hits on them. And then we go into a part just before the drop where there's a fast drum beat, and this is where there's a bit of flashing going on, so we've not had that yet, but instead of just flashing on one clip, we've got uh, different clips synced together, so... You know, got to get the MLG in there at the end, because why not? Now, I'm not sure what we'll do for this bit, because there's a bit of a, a drum bit here. Humans only see things at, I think, a tenth of a second, so often you can play with syncing, as in, if it's like less than a tenth of a second out, nobody's going to notice because humans just can't visibly uh, perceive that. If you can get something going quicker than tenth of a second, um, people won't notice in the video. It, it'll be unperceivable. Um, maybe a few people are attuned to such differences, but the vast majority won't notice. So just because we're syncing after the beat, I don't think anyone will notice because that's only what... That's one frame out. And how many frames are there in a second? Like 30, I think. What that means is a tenth of 30 is 3. So if it's less than 3 frames out, then that's perfectly fine in my opinion. Maybe we could do a replay of the 4 kills so far. Yeah, we'll, we'll, re we'll do that. So, how about that? And then we just delete that and we're into the final kill. We're going to have to distinguish them from the actual footage because this is flashback footage. So, so this is an example of me just experimenting uh, with new stuff just to see what sort of an effect it gives. The aim here is to kind of distinguish the past clips. We could do black and white, but I'd rather try something a little different. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something like that. Um, spotlight with feather. I guess it doesn't really matter, but we'll just we'll stick with spotlight with feather. <laughs> That's not bad, actually. So yeah, it does kind of distinguish it a bit. We'll go with that. How about that? Most of this time, no one's going to have a clue what's going on. The hope is it's just, you know, it, it looks all right. We'll include a clip of us crafting some diamond boots, because that's the next piece of diamond armor. And then we're going to go and fight again. Or we're going to go into another fight. We do get someone coming up behind us as we're putting on armor. So we'll include that clip. Oh, gee, look, we're so near the end. Basically, we've got that much from uh, basically here to there. I think that's basically the amount of time we've got, which admittedly looks like it's somewhere in the region of 20 seconds to dedicate to this fight. We're not going to do too much edits, because as you, as you can tell, we, we've relaxed a bit on the edits since the start of the video. This is a combination of me being lazy, but also I just want to show a bit of PvP unedited, because people kind of like that, uh, and I personally like it. I'm having a bit of trouble here. We've I've increased the time a bit by shortening this clip. Um, but this battle is the longest one, I would say. And there's a lot going on here. So there's like the initial encounter in which I well, I got backstabbed. And then as you can see, I'm at two hearts at one point, And I'm basically chugging and bow spamming at this point just to stay alive. Then there's a point where it's kind of even ground. I'm shooting him. 
he doesn't either have a bow or he doesn't want to dig down or whatever. Yeah, and then I just turn the tables on him. So there's a lot going on there. And we need to fit all that into this section here. I'm okay with using this final section for the final battle. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's. I'm pretty satisfied with that. The downside is we do have to cut a lot out of that fight, but I mean, there's not much we can do uh, about that now. I mean, we could go back and, you know, re edit the entire video, but rather not. This is what we've got. As you can see, I've just basically been syncing clips to the beat. Uh, I prefer that. Uh, it's very, very simple. Uh, it doesn't look like it's not super, super good editing, but it's just a bit nicer. I change a clip on the beat, whether it be a piano. Uh, the drums, the snare, the... well, I don't like to edit to certain things, the snare being one of them. I usually prefer to edit to, like, the bass or something. Now we want to have an outro... not an outro effect, but a transition effect from probably uh, the image or the clip to just a blank screen. Join the army of the shadows, we'll Alright, so we're almost there. We're on the home straight now. Final fight, um, which, if you'll notice, I actually do, like, dig down on him. Uh, that's because I heard him digging. Uh, somebody died in the border, so we only had one guy left. Um, so it was this guy. So for this section, it's kind of a mellow tune, or not mellow. It's you know, it's it's like it's not happy, basically. So we might go for the like, kind of like at the start. It's basically a a mirror image of the start and the central part of the song. Okay, so I just went full try hard mode. Well, okay, I didn't. By try hard mode, I don't mean um, <laughs> don't mean I try to make it as good as possible, but I did try to just focus on it and get it done without having to commentate every second of it. Uh, not that I've been commentating every second of this edit so far. So this is what we got at the end. We've got um, some clips before the fight, because uh, there was a bit of time between the second last fight and the last fight. That's then led on to the final fight, which is in slow motion, um, but I think that's just better for the way the song goes. And then I got a nice wee um, outro using the light flare thing, or lens flare, or whatever it was. <laughs> Ah, so yeah, that brings us to the end of this. Don't know what the total video time is for this, but I'll try and make it short. But I reckon it's taken somewhere in the region of about six hours, maybe, to edit all this. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain, but it's worth it in the end, because, you know, uh, you want to try and make as good a job of it as possible. Um, so I'm not going to show the whole thing. I'm now going to go and review it, going to make any changes off camera, and then I'm going to uh, render it. And yeah, can't wait to upload it. Unfortunately, I only uploaded, I think it was... Highlights number 283 yesterday, so I released it rather, so we still got another like 17 to go <laughs> before 16 to go before we get to this one. It'll come round hopefully. Uh, so all I need to do now is render it and then flip and edit this video. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, I might do this with a montage in future, um, but if I don't, well, you've got this at least to see how I edit highlights. Hope you learned something new. If you didn't, well, congrats, you're more advanced than I am. So thank you for watching all and I will catch you later.